Hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII with me, Matthew Caddis, a.k.a. Poogie. So, hmm, we fell from the uh, Sector um, 4 reactor earlier in the last episode, and apparently we are now speaking to the voices in our head. Okay. Uh, what moved? Is it Cloud's leg? Is that what you're talking about? And who's, who else is saying hello? Is there a third voice in, in Cloud's head? Yeah, it must have been through a lot of shit, I think, as Cloud. Well, is that the flower girl from earlier? Well, yes, it is. And this time we will meet her proper. Um, I'm surprised that we're still alive. If this were any normal circumstances, i.e. not in a video game, I think we'd be very much dead. Um, yeah, no, not the roof. The roof would have injured him and probably killed him in any normal circumstances. The flower bed? I don't even know. Was there re resilient? Oh. Um, okay, is there any deity in um, Midgar? Oh! Well, it's probably a peaceful place being a church. Surprised they actually have a church in the middle of a, a place full of slums such as Midgar. Uh, yeah, he was selling me flowers, right? Definitely not the slum drunk. Definitely not. No, I think the other ones were the slum drunk. Or the slum drunk, I'm the... Yeah? I kind of need them to heal. I don't think potions would work. Uh, remember that for later. I'm sorry I'm borrowing a H.C. Bailey quote, but in this case, definitely remember it for later. Her mother? Hmm. Must be important for her. Um, yeah, this is a JRPG. In fact, any RPG, not just a JRPG. Alright. Fair enough. And you can speed this up if you wish, but uh, maybe not. Right. Uh, no. Well, it was originally Ares, but. For the sake of the uh, con uh, consistency, I am going to call her by her um, name that she's known by now, Aerith. Yes. Um, Cloud Bond? No, 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 no. Cloud Strife. Um, only for money! Also, um... Who the hell is that guy? Um, sure. Um, right. Well, we could speak to the rather dirty looking guy there, but. A bodyguard? I guess if you count Tifa. Because we haven't told Aerith about that yet. Um, can't we go out of the back door? I suppose not that. That shady looking bloke there is blocking the way. Um, sure. This might not end well. Well, anyway, let's see what this guy wants. I don't know who he is, but. Okay, is that mistranslation? Look, okay, the voice is in his head again. What the actual hell? Oh, our great Shinra soldiers! That guy's in league with the Shinra? His name's Reno. Okay, 
and groom the flowers. Yeah, that's the um, that's your beef there, Aerith. Um, I think we have far worse things to worry about than than flowers here with the Shinra. about Mako and how people from Soldier are infused with Mako? Hmm. Um, you just did me! You just stood on the flowers! You didn't catch holy hell? Okay, we can't go any... Okay, maybe we can jump over there and hopefully we can get over to the other side. Uh-oh. Over there! And no, Reno does not speak like that. It was voiced by, um, um, Axel, but he's now voiced by Kazuma. But not in this game, in the remake. Jump! Um, does she know how to jump? No, she does not. Oh boy. Um, well, we fall from, from a freaking reactor and survive, but... Oh boy. Now, in order to stop the Shinra soldiers, all you have to do is go full on Donkey Kong and throw the barrels in a certain order, and it is not easy to do, yeah, to memorize, should I say. So let's try this one. Let's push this one over, and oh, that was a miss. I think I should have done the uh, lower left one. Um, if you miss with a barrel, what will happen is that Aerith will have to fight off the Shinra soldiers herself, and she is not that great offensively speaking, because she is, um, her main weapon is a staff, and staffs in RPGs, in any RPGs, not just Final Fantasy, well, well, many RPGs, not all, um, I suppose, um, but many RPGs, it's traditional RPGs especially, don't do that much damage, but at this point in the game, it doesn't matter in this case, but I do want to limit her fights to a minimum, because uh, I do not have that many potions to heal her with, and I can't equip her with um, being in this fight. So, the next one we want to do is have her... Um, and of course, Cloud can get into battles himself. And I'm going to leave this in because these are new enemies, the Hedgehog Pies. Um, sadly, we cannot learn anything from them just yet. Um, they do have a um, certain skill we can learn, but I'll go over that later. So let's just finish this one off with a braver, and we're done. And, okay, that's done. How we actually get a potion for that? So let's see, we can't equip um, Aerith at all. Because although she's with us, she's not in our party. Uh-oh. Um, okay, um, right. Hold on a minute, I'm gonna... Um, go over here and toss this barrel on the upper left. And this is the one we want to push down to that uh, guy there. So, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. You haven't played enough Donkey Kong in the arcades. Trust me, that game was tough. This time I played was in Donkey Kong 64. Um, anyway, where's the other guy? Well, he's coming. He's coming. Right, this barrel. Yeah, let's push this barrel here, and that will come down on on this soldier here. So yeah, I just got the first. So yeah, there we go. And now we, Aerith is safe, and apparently she can now jump, despite um, um being hit so hesitant earlier. Oh well, video game logic. So with um with that said, let us go through here. And indeed, head to the left. Jump out, and then we are apparently outside the church. Even though our character models look way too big for that. Seriously.
They haven't. The Turks? They don't look Turkish to me. Oh, they're spies. So they think Aerith is a star thing? Well, more on that later. Apparently, um, I don't think Aerith is a good um, candidate for soldier, though. Seriously, all she's got is a staff and maybe a strange material that she describes as good for nothing. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think so, Aerith. Maybe if you level grind. I don't think so, Cloud! that done, we can jump across the rooftops, and indeed, uh, oh, uh, apparently um, Aerith is not that good at jumping. Well, we kind of ascertained that earlier, so that makes sense. So, let's uh, go, have a go over there, and poof wheeze, don't slow me down. Um, oh, you're just being horrible there, Cloud. Yes, apparently he was. The Mako eyes. Yep, he is the Mako eyes. Nothing. Don't sound like nothing to me. Bodyguard. <laughs> well, anyway, let's go across the rooftops. And indeed, we will arrive in, um, around these ruins. So yeah, we are in the slums, and indeed, where we want to go now is away from the church. Okay, well we still have to get into various uh, battles here, but I will go to the thing in the next episode. So until then, I will see you later. Bye!